This looks weird. There are two vents here. On close examination, you find some scratches that might be thief marks behind the side drain. Huh. Rummaging around under the floor drain, you find a round knob with a point on one side, which you pick up. Thieves have had to clean up after themselves since a few unfortunate accidents with me. <coughs> this looks like an interesting safe. Another fine product of the Filch Safe Company. But you can't for the life of you figure out how anyone can open a safe with no knob. Will we just pick up? Now that you've replaced the safe knob, the Filch Safe looks right for the cracking. You know, kind of like a warm. To open the safe, you will need to spell out the combination with alternating right and left turns. I'll give you a hint. There's the answer. F. I. L. C. Nothing happened. H. You quickly rifle the opened safe. Unfortunately, it looks as though legions of thieves guild initiates have been here before you, but all the money is gone. You do find five throwing daggers placed here for, well, safekeeping. The only other usable thing in the safe is a single lockpick, half buried in dust in one corner. You grab the lockpick and the daggers. Don't straight up lockpick this, that's a bad idea. You found a particularly diabolical poison gas trap. Fortunately, it's just like one of those described in the book on traps, so you are able to disarm it. That was easy. Ah, uh, that did it. The lock springs open with a satisfying snap. Inside the desk, you find a complete and hardly used Mark II Thieves Toolkit. It has all the latest facilities for opening the toughest locks, cracking safes, and disarming mechanical traps. There is one lockpick missing from the set, so you add yours to it. You also find a fancy match set of three throwing daggers, which you add to your collection. Finally, you find some sort of diary or log the title of the book reads, Memoirs of a Master Manipulator. Not in there. You take it out and set it on the desk, but it's a little heavy to carry around. Right, uh, I'll open that next later, but right now I've got something else I want to do. The painting is undoubtedly a forgery. Not that you know anything about art forgery. You're quite sure that it would have been stolen a long time ago if it was actually worth it. The painting is un... Ah, you found a hidden safe. Good work. You set up the thieves' toolkit. It's basically a color matching game. Choose a color and try to get three in a row. I mean, you can screw around with other colors if you like, but it's just easier to choose one and wait. You have successfully... And then crack the ever-loving crap out of it. Crack the safe using the Mark II toolkit. You take the healing potion, throwing dagger, and five crowns someone was foolish enough to leave inside. Sweet. Ah, you found a hidden safe. Good work. You set up the thieves' toolkit. have successfully disarmed the safe. And crack it. Using the Mark II toolkit, you quickly manage to get the safe open. Inside you find six crowns, a throwing dagger, and a potion labeled Poison Cure. You've seen a fitting reward for your efforts, so you take it. You leaf through the Chief Thief's logbook. An interesting entry speaks of a proposed night raid on the castle. The guild members would use a secret passage to avoid notice. You 
wonder which secret passage that might be. A later entry in different handwriting indicates how far the guild had declined recently. It seems to be just a bunch of doodling and some nonsense words. It says, Bad boys yell, good girls giggle, rich girls run. Not quite on the same standard as a nighttime castle raid. One of the final entries says, Fred and Frank caught out at night without hooks. Fred is dead and Frank sank. I'm the last. An ambitious thief will try to prosper by hook and by crook. The log closes with some incoherent ramblings about passing the deadly tentacle beast. Then the horror, shadows of darkness enfold me. Madness and mockery in the dark one's chamber. Not entirely. You're about to find out how and why. We depress the battle chat, but nothing comes out. Instead, the battle slides across the wall to reveal some sort of mechanism. This is a door unlocking mechanism. To operate it, push each of the tiles until all nine tiles have been set to the correct one. Let's see. Bad boys yell. Good girls giggle. Rich girls run. So, you found my secret passageway. You must excuse me, I'm, I'm not quite myself anymore. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I won't hurt you. It is good to talk to someone again. It has been so very long since anyone has been here. There's two things I like about him. Do you like it? I'm afraid it is not very becoming. And to think I once despised cockroaches. This is one of them. Do you think it's fun to have six legs and no matching socks? Do you think I enjoy running around frantically and stopping suddenly for no apparent reason? You think it's fun to look in the mirror and wish you had a giant fly swatter so you could commit suicide? Is that your idea of fun? You idiot! You! You! Uh, forgive me, I'm just not myself lately. <laughs> and the other thing, which is... That's about it. Uh... That's all the information we need from him. Also, we could have left behind uh, through his passageway, which leads out underneath the bridge in front of the town. This guy's a jerk. It looks like it isn't. It looks like a stone carving. It isn't. It will kill you. It will kill you dead. This old man is kind of useless. I, 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 
and Nikolai. Have you seen my honor? Honor? Have you seen my honor? I am looking for honor. Have you seen honor? Uh, well, we're going to help him either way, but not right now. It's basically Simon says he can't screw it up. 